first thing I saw was a spout. It started putting its flippers up and we were able to identify it as a right whale because of the V-shaped blow. Everybody wants to name her Saturday, everybody on the group, but I feel like maybe there's a better name, but don't tell them I said that. Don't tell them I said that. The new calf is kind of hope, you know? Hope that maybe they will bounce back and we'll be able to create new generations that are able to survive in the environment we've put them in. Our 3560, she did get named Snow Cone. And it's actually, well, you can see why she got named Snow Cone, right above, so it's the callosity here, and then up here, there's this little thing that looks like a, a V with a circle on top, just like a snow cone, and it was a perfect name. Out of stern, bro. That thing's over 40 foot. Oh, lucky are we, guys. <laughs> the trip's so worth it. I don't care if we catch it. <laughs> We have a pretty good idea on individuals, but snow cone really threw me for a loop. There was line coming out of her left mouth that was pretty visible, I think about 150 feet aft, and it sunk. She kept changing directions. It was kind of unpredictable where and when she'd surface. She has been coming to Cape Cod Bay in recent years, in 2016, 2017, 2019, but we didn't see her the year that she had her first calf, and she wasn't with the calf when we found the carcass. 